Okay, this is to explain how to permanently seal a D-ring binder. And what we're using is we're using um, heat shrink tubing. And this is the size that we're using. 5.0 by 40 millimeters. Now in this set, because I didn't know what size I needed, there's 20 pieces. I bought this from homedepot.com, but I'm pretty sure you can buy it on Amazon. And if you can, I will put the link to the Amazon and to Home Depot in the comment section or wherever in Home Depot, or I don't know. I'll figure out where to put it. So what you do is you take the tubing and you put it onto one side. You just squish it onto the one side on all three rings. And then you close the binder or rings back up. I might not be using the correct words and for that, sorry. But I'm hoping you can figure it out by watching this. And then you take your heat gun, this is the Sizzix heat gun. And then you, um, it's been a few minutes, so it's gonna, the first one will heat up the slowest. But then you're just gonna heat it to, the metal or shrink it to the metal and it'll shrink you see how it's slowly going um, the, like I said the first one's normally the slowest um, but you'll watch it just goes right to the metal and then once you get it all nice and attached to the metal you know you go on to the next one and see this one's shrinking a lot faster because the heat gun's all nice and heated up. And But I hope you can see how fast this is shrinking right to the, I mean, it's just going right on there. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that you really get that underside because that's kind of where it's the most bunched. what I do is I'll take it up and push it a little bit just to get it really 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 attached to that metal um, and I do it when it's warm obviously you know you don't want to burn yourself but you definitely want to get it warm because I'll show you how great this does once you get it all attached like that as you see it's not moving you're not gonna lose any pages and then you can just turn your pages like normal, it's a, well, it's still warm. Once it cools off, you can turn your pages like normal. Um, it's a, it's a little bit bigger than it, but it, like, hold on, let me just turn one page at a time and then you can see. Once it cools off, it'll just, it'll just turn normally. So, but uh, like I said, it's, it's not going anywhere. You're not going to lose any pages at all. So that's how I did it. That's how I did the tubing. I hope this explains it better. And I hope you guys all have happy D-ring binders. Have fun. Bye.